So this is Chris Styler again. Hello. Um, part two, trials and tribulations of Westy. Henry, looking quite, quite handsome and quite, quite attentive. Quite the disciplined little doggy, as he knows he has to be patient if he's going out to the park right now, which is right over there. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, add a couple thoughts because I have to say, at 313,000 on the chassis and 27 years of age what we really like about Nessie is that she makes us smile <laughs> she really does we love the headlamps and the little mouth she just, you know, you see her, you walk down the street, and she lets us grin, you know? You know that everything's going to be okay. And I tell you, in 2011, with the earthquakes, tsunamis, tornadoes, now fires. Hey, Bailey. Yeah, that's our neighbor's dog. We are doggy daycare for a couple days. Uh, with all those, you know, things going on, Mother Nature at her best, uh, you know, the rapture may not have occurred, but I'll tell you what, if that idiot preacher just said something a little bit less, you know, stringent, let's say he said that 2011 is going to be the start of something really crappy, you know what, now is the time to own a little piece of heaven on wheels, get away from it all and see it before it goes poof, disappears. Another reason why we are excited. And I have to say, like, you really feel a sense of community, kind of like with motorcycling, where, you know, if you're on a certain motorcycle, like, for instance, you know, God forbid, a hog, all the fellow Harley d drivers, you know, give you a friendly nod as you pass in the opposite direction, or in my case, uh, when I had the BMW, same thing, BMW dri drivers, you know, riders, they all give the wave to each other. Same thing with the Westy and the Synchros and the Vanigans. Not so much the Eurovans, but people realize that each of us with these older vans, because they discontinued them in 1990, after 91, that we are stewards. A little bit of stewardship. You know, the patron saints of keeping these vehicles intact and a part of, you know, the American road or, you know, the Autobahn, wherever the hell you take them. Uh, but the point is, you know, these vehicles, there's something really special about them. I get excited every time I jump in it. You know, it's like the Isuzu, had it for 12 years. Yes, it was fun in the mountains. It had four-wheel drive, and this does not have four-wheel drive. That is an issue that will need to be reckoned with, but there's a transmission uh, something you can do to the differential which I've learned about called limited slip differential LSD in the mountains well we might be able to get her up there in one piece on the road and quite safely wouldn't that be something huh not four-wheel drive but apparently if you install it uh, you know override the tranny with it it actually does a pretty good job in the snow along with snow tires so anyway that's all I wanted to say, for now at least. This is Chris Tyler, signing off.